Success and failure in climbing are pretty clear cut. There's the route, first route of today. Uh, success, climb from the bottom to the top without being assisted. If I fall, if I rest on the rope, if I grab hold of a quick draw, I have failed. Success, clear. Uh, what about success in climbing generally though? I mean, how do you become a successful climber? The grading system is open-ended, it goes on forever. Uh, there are lots of different types of climbing that you can do. You can be a different type of climber. How, wow, that was a big wave. How do you, what is a successful climber? Do we even bother defining what a successful climber is? big jug and everything's fine. Uh, not, didn't, not quite enough quick draws for that. <laughs> that was cool. Guidebook says 50 meter rope is fine. I've never bought a 60. Uh, how much rope is left? That was so awesome, I've kind of lost my train of thought a little bit. Ah, we're off now, kind of up and around the top to do some, I think, very short ah, trad routes. And maybe there's a sport route up there as well, but it's poor fun. I haven't done them before and they're in a fine position. So that's a good reason as any to do them. Um, but of course, climbing is, it's a sport, it's a hobby. Whoa. We do it for fun, most of us. So we can choose ourselves what we think is, you know, successful for us, right? Oh yeah, lines worth climbing. is also falling down a little bit as we climb it which is fun you're enjoying this no <laughs> i'm not it's rubbish can't quite touch my fingers but you might be able to get might be able to get oh i can touch my fingers through it i was looking for a thread for the belay i couldn't find it oh freezing uh in the wind i'm gonna put a jacket on for the next one Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> you never know if they're going to be good or not until you climb them. No, no, it's you. I work with a lot of successful people. I work, you know, I train uh, people who want to be doctors, who have had a lot of success in their life, want a lot of success. I think young people 
see success in life as like having a career, having money, having stuff. Because when you're young, you don't really have that, right? Uh, and I talk to a lot of people at different stages in their careers. And they're successful people, but they, they probably realise it, but they don't really think about it. People tend to look at other people and think, oh, I should do that. I need to do that to be successful. People compare themselves to other people. But when you think about your own success and you being successful in life, nobody else is thinking about it. Everybody else is just comparing themselves to each other. Success in life, what's that then? Classic limestone, everything's upside down. Makes life interesting. Surely the problem with success in life is that there is no definition of when you are successful, right? Which means it's not a useful word, success. It's only useful when you assign it to a particular task. I have this task, when I do this, I, have, I am successful, like climbing, <laughs> climbing this scrappy little route. The grass and the mud, that's how you know it's a quality route. Well, a lot of this is, well, it's fun, isn't it? Climbing, it's mucking about, and sometimes if it's stupid, it's even more fun. These routes aren't terrible. I'm, I'm, I'm enjoying myself. It's fun to do a bit of trad climbing and, you know, practice it on a bee and stuff. Kim's pulling a bit more cliff off. Is that like a good hold that you've pulled off? <laughs> oh, well. What do the seagulls do? I'm really glad I didn't have both my hands on that because it was a proper nice handhold for both of my hands. I was going to pull on both and I'd just go, whee! Um, I don't know, society, can't, it feels like society puts expectations on people and that's like a, a definition of success. But that's a lie as well because society needs lots of different people doing lots of different things to function. So again, there's no definition of success there. Therefore, if there is no definition of what is successful, that means you can make up your own definition of success. Right? You can define, you can say, I'm going to attempt to do this thing. I'm, I'm going to attempt to do this in my life, follow this path if you do it yay you're successful and that's the way that it should be done I think I think people as they get older they realize this as well that um, what you think is success is meaningless really uh, you, you don't need to leave up with the Okay, so the first route was amazing and these routes have been done, but I have been entertained. That's okay, right? No, no, no sign of any layback at all then. No. Maybe you should lay back it. Yeah, your feet against the slab. <laughs> I don't want to lay back on anything because I've got no Oh, the bits you lay back on are fine because it's just smearing and. Oh, yeah, look. Yeah, 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 go on, yeah, go on.
Like I say, it's a good spot. And that's half the climbing is being outside. All right, final comment on being a success. Um, you can fail. Uh, you can fail at doing these things. But you can always have another go, right? So if there's no time limit, if there's no deadline on when you have to be successful by, how can you measure success? You can't, it's a load of rubbish. Uh, you define what success means for you. You set your goals, you set your deadlines, go out and go for it. And remember, I always say that there are many, many correct paths through life I've seen. Uh, medical students and PhD students not succeed on those paths. And they found different paths. And they're having good lives which weren't on that original path that they wanted to be on, right? Anyway, we're high up as well again. Man, it's good to be outside. Thank you.